mama think Alright, I'll admit it. I don't have too much to say about this one, but Agent Ica is a very short OVA that combines fan service, that 80s vibe, gorgeous women, and cheesy voice acting. I'm on a kick lately to watch anime from the 90s, and this one certainly fits the bill. It's a dang shame that Ica really doesn't like to use weapons, because I might name one of my future firearms after her. I really like that name. It has a good ring to it. Ica. Ica. With the sci-fi motif going on, the story seems like it could fit into an anime of much larger in scope, say 24 episodes. It's pretty basic, and the problem I have with the series is that after episode 4, I just completely lost interest. Perhaps the manga explores a bit more, but there are a lot of unanswered questions and vague suspicions about the characters. Although I think it adds to the vibe, the voice acting is just horrendous in the English dub. I think we should just stay out of this. No, I'm in. Gusto! I'm willing to risk my life for love, you know. <laughs> so you've made up your mind, Gusto. Uh, what Some people are going to hate me for that, but after episode 2, the quality of the voice acting just went downhill. There was no real effort behind some of the support roles, and I questioned the authority of the person in charge for them. Agent Ica disappoints because it really just isn't there for me. I was expecting more out of it from every angle. While it pleases as a quick 7-episode series, I think it's far from finished. The artistical presentation was pretty good. The cell art is something you would expect before Computer Age animation. It pales in comparison to other titles like Cowboy Bebop and Quality, but I've seen a lot better, and then again, I've seen a lot worse from animators on the internet working for free. As for Scott Cargill, he did a good job on Rudolph Hargan. Even if the character he was voicing sounded like a total and complete creep. I can't allow you to go on hurting any more of my people. You must forgive me. You could pick this up under Bandai's Anime Legends line for around $10 online, minus your shipping. If you're looking for something a little different to add to your anime collection, the runtime of 3 hours and 30 minutes will do the trick. Is this worth the price? Yeah, I'd pay for it, considering that you get the original Japanese audio. Some will like the series for its antics. Fan service isn't a bad thing in certain amounts, but if the series is going to overdo it on fan service, they need to overdo it on everything else in order to stand out. I'll give this anime a 6 out of 10. Not great, not horrible, but it's decent. Go ahead and check it out. Copyright disclaimer, under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute in the United States of America that might otherwise be infringing non-profit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use.